when looking at the Bitcoin price chart or the XRP price chart or really any type of cryptocurrency price chart, you have to understand what it is you're actually looking at. And it all starts with understanding what these little bars mean. These are called candles. And today we're going to dive in to explain exactly what this means. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is the Blockchain Backer bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news and analysis. And today we're going to start a new series where we're going to talk about the things that I do on the charts. And the first thing that we've got to understand regarding charts is what a candlestick is. So when we zoom out, you see all these little lines on here telling you what the price is. But many people don't know exactly what each candle means. Now, a lot of people do, and you may be a, a subscriber to my channel and this might not interest you but i figured for this series let's start with explaining exactly what a candle is when a candle is printed such as this big one right here what this big open area tells you is where the price opened which was here and where the price closed in this example we are using the one week chart so each candle or each stick on this chart represents one whole week so in this area right here, the price stayed very consolidated and flat in this region for four weeks. And then we had very big price movements each week. So let's go back over to this candle right here. So when this candle opened Monday morning at midnight, that would be at $5,700 or $5,714. During the course of the week, the price had gone down to the bottom of this candlestick, which is $5,550. And the price had gotten all the way up to the top of the candlestick at 75.82. But when the week ended, the price closed right here at 69.70. So the entire candlestick and the wicks on the top and the bottom represent the price that, the, that it fluctuated between during this one week time period. But when the week started, the price opened right here. And when the week ended, the price closed right here you will notice that the price will always open over here exactly where it closed. Now, that isn't the case for all markets that it'll open and close at the same price level, but due to the fact that Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are traded 24 seven, most of the time the opening price and the closing price are the exact same. There are times where there is a gap in price, but we'll get into that later. But for now, you can see that the price opens and closes at the same spot. We can see that here. So the week closed here, opened here, closed here, opened here, closed here, and opened here. And then we get our first red candle in this example. And we can see that the price opened here. It went up just a teeny tiny little wick right there. And then it went all the way down to 74.28. And then the price closed the week. At the end of the week, when the week was over, the price closed here. And then we opened a new week right here. Price went down, came all the way back up, and then closed down right here. So I hope this kind of shows you exactly what a candlestick is. And when we look at candles, we look to see if there's any wicks on the top or the wicks on the bottom. In this circumstance right here, a large wick on the, bot on the top meant that the price went all the way up and got knocked down really hard. And that's indicative of some type of reversal or major resistance when we see such huge wicks on these charts. When we had the bottom of the 2015 bear market for Bitcoin, we had a very long wick on the bottom. The price went all the way to 151, but fired all the way back up and closed way up here within that same week. And that's a good transition into discovering what do these particular candle formations mean, depending on what their wicks are or what colors the candles are, whether they're red or green or large wicks on the bottom, large wicks on the top. So I'm here on IG.com and I do have a link to this in my, the description of this video. And we'll start here with the hammer. The hammer is going to be at the bottom of a move down and we have a open 
with a wick at the bottom and a close at the top with no wick at all. So it means that when the candle closed, price was still in upward momentum and we closed at the very top, usually indicating that we're going to continue up further. Another very popular candlestick is the bullish engulfing candle. We also have the bearish engulfing, but this one is the bullish engulfing. And that's going to be when we have a candle that moves down, followed by a candle that completely swallows the entire previous candle. And we'll see this a lot in, with much bigger moves in cryptocurrency, where we have a very large move down, followed by a very large move up, in which the green candle will close the top well above where the opening of the red candle was and this would be called a bullish engulfing candle it engulfed the entire bearish candle prior to it here's a very good example of that on bitcoin back in 2017 the entire move down was 38 percent where bitcoin went from 2900 to 1800 in the summer and i remember this very clearly and then with this candle right here the momentum started getting very strong, followed by a very large bullish engulfing candle. We swallowed this entire horrible bear market capitulation with one weekly candle and took it all back plus more. And this is the exact definition of a bullish engulfing candle. And here is your bearish engulfing candle. So you have green momentum, bullish momentum, followed by a sudden engulfing bearish candle that will wipe out the entire green candle prior to it. Another popular set of candles is called the three white soldiers. And it's where we have three green candles in a row in which all candles open and close near the tops without leaving large wicks. You typically we'll have a consolidation for the fourth candle followed by a continuation move up, which is very similar to the downward move of the three black crows. Three candles moving straight down that open and close near their tops and bottoms without large wicks, followed by a consolidation, a short consolidation and continuation in the direction that it was going. So in the circumstance of three black crows, that would be a continuation of bearish momentum. Next, we have the doji, and also we have a spinning top doji. And this would be candles that are strong consolidation and don't really give very much uh, information about the direction that it will continue in. So they open and close very close to each other without large wicks on each side, and these are called dojis. And we didn't cover every single type of candlestick pattern that, that there is. However, you can come to this website and check it out for yourself. There's lots of resources throughout Google and the internet that can provide you different understandings of different candles and different candle formations. For the majority of this example, we've been using the one week candlesticks, but you can of course go down to the one day and you can see the price fluctuations of what occurred on one specific day. And it's the same thing opens here this, we're going to look at this green we're going to look at this green candle right here opens here price goes all the way down all the way back up way up here price closes here so when the day started the price was here we had volatility and then when the day was over the price was right here and then we started a new day it's not always perfect that the candle will open next to it and be perfect and, and go up like this. That's why you hear sometimes closing the gap. There are now the cryptocurrency market's a 24 seven market. So on daily candles, you don't typically have gaps, but for example, if like we're trading during regular stock hours, a, a large move like this could create some type of gap to where the, the candle did not open directly next to it, leaving a wide open space right here. So whenever you hear closing the gap, that means that between the time that the candle closed and the next candle opened, it left a big gap in between. And a lot of times we've got to come back and price has to offer that price level again in order to close the gap. I'm not saying there's a gap right here, but that's what that means when a candle closes and a candle opens and it has a gap in between closing the gap. This is a great example of that right here. This is the Bitcoin CME futures and on their chart, since it's not 24 seven for this market, you can see that there's a gap that's placed right there. 
Let's see if we can find any other ones. There was one right here and it came down and got it and closed the gap. So anytime you hear close the gap or that there's a gap on the chart, it means that the price for the next candle did not open at the same price that the previous candle closed at. So it creates what they call a gap. Then of course you can go into smaller time frames from the week candles, daily candles. You could do four hour candles, two hour candles, one hour candles, and really get these candles much tighter. So I hope that provided a simple explanation to what a candlestick is or a bar on a chart. Uh, I appreciate you guys very much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, check out the other videos that I have on the playlist for this series. As always, this is not investment advice. I am not a financial advisor, but if you ever need a pick me up or a little bit of reassurance, just remember that the blockchain backers got your back. Have a good one.